Hey guys, Cynical Manor here. Today we're back in the Mirage 2000. Uh, I had a couple of you that wanted to do or learn how to use GBU guided bombs. Uh, so this is what this video is about. Uh, wanted to show you basically the setup process on this. So we've got our Mirage out here and uh, we've got two GBU guided bombs on it, GB GBU 12s. That's not really what we're worried about at this moment. Okay, so here on the ground, we've got four uh, T-55 tanks that are Russian. And I just set them up. All I do is place them down. I put a weapon hold on them because I was having issues about them killing uh, my uh, Humvee out here. But it doesn't really matter. They're going to shoot at it anyway. Um, so what I've done is, you see when we select them, you've got a red ring here, and that's indicating their fire line. So I've put the, uh, the tow missile uh, outside the uh, fire line. And then if we click over here on our, um, uh, it's ATGM Humvee, uh, it's basically just a Humvee with a tow missile on it. The what I've done here is I've said uh, rules of engagement, I've set those to, uh, on our uh, advanced waypoints I've set that to weapons hold because we don't want him attacking our tanks for us we want to do that all we want him to do is lace the target okay and then the next thing is we went to perform task and did a uh, FAC we told him weapon is auto and we designated a laser now there will be a place uh, if you set this I think it's three nautical miles you set this farther than that or if you set it above like say your tanks are above a uh, terrain and this guy can't get line of sight there'll be a red or, or it's actually an orange uh, note here that says that you can't get line of sight on the target uh, so you want to just play around with that until you can get them to uh, to be on the target or where it just says laser our laser code is 1688 that's standard um, and, and I selected the call sign of Moonbeam just because he's lacing the target for us. Uh, you can select whatever you want. Frequency is already set for 133. Uh, the next thing I did is I went in and I did a perform command and I set call sign and I just set his call sign to Moonbeam because that's what we had it in the FAC. Um, I went in, I did another command, perform command, set frequency to 133 just to make sure we could talk to him. Then I made him invisible and immortal, just for video's sake. So, we're outside here, uh, let's see, about, uh, let's see, we are about, oh, 33, almost 34 nautical miles from the target. Yeah, about 34 miles from the target. Um, so we'll go ahead and jump in the jet and I'll explain some things. Alright, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the, uh, the aircraft in active pause. We're going to go over here and we're just going to turn some lights on and stuff so we can see a lot better in the aircraft. And uh, I'll go ahead and I'm going to turn on the auto... Oh, it won't do it because it's an active pause. I'm going to turn on the autopilot and altitude hold. And I'm going to set our throttle to about 450 knots or so. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit my F10 menu, and I'm if you click on these, it's better, uh, but we're going to go to JTAC Moonbeam. We're going to go check, check in 15 minutes. Moonbeam 1-1, one, one. this is Pontiac 1-1-1, one, one, one. uniform Delta 2-2-3-0 two, two, at 6,000, armed with GBU-12, 150 cannon, playtime is 0 plus 15. Available for tasking. What do you have for us? I'll give it a second, he'll reply. Oh, 
Pontiac, one, one. This is Moonbeam, one, one. Tag two and six. Advise and ready for 9 on. We'll go ahead and say ready to ready copy. To copy. There's our laser code. We've got a friendly, which is our lazing buddy, 2,900 meters from the target, so we don't want to hit him. He wants us to egress to the north, so once we drop this bomb, we're going to turn to the north and get away. Okay, so when he says that, we'll say ready to copy remarks. Say nine line read back. Form Charlie six four two seven nine zero four eight. Read back correct. Report IP inbound. We're gonna say we're inbound. Pontiac one one IP inbound. Pontiac one one continue. Laser on. Pontiac one one laser on. Laser on. Okay. Lazy. Spot, which means we see the laser, Pontiac, but we really one, don't. One. Spot. And then we're going to say we're in. Pontiac 1-1, one, one. in from the northwest. He's going to say cleared hot. Pontiac 1-1, one, one. cleared hot. Alright, so I'm going to put active pause on. We're going to talk about the way we want to set things up. Okay, so we have two U GBU-12s on board, and we got some magic missiles as well for air to air but we're not worried about those okay so we want to go over here we're gonna go ahead and turn our master arm on our guns is already on we're not gonna be using those today though okay we're gonna select EL1 which is our GBU 12 you want to make sure that TAS and RS come on board because that's your targeting system and there's our you can see our destination right there on our radar okay we're gonna go over to the right side we're gonna go to instant on our fuse we're going to select one. That means we're going to drop one GBU-12. Now, if we go into the uh, adjust controls, I'm going to hit up on my hat stick here, and we're going to select weapon system command forward. Um, and for me, that's um, I've got a a, a, a a POV or whatever uh, on my a hat switch. That's what I was trying to think of. Sorry, uh, on my joystick, and I've got that bound to up. You can bound it however you want to, but you need that. And just like we discussed on bombing before in the uh, Mirage 2000, uh, make sure you have that. So when we do that, we're going to hit up on that, and you see that our flight azimuth has changed to a CCIP mode. Okay, so we're, what we're going to do is we're going to come out of active pause. We're going to keep flying towards the waypoint here. Um, when we're flying, you will see like a, a cross show up here on the ground. What we're going to do is we're going to go down. We're going to put this flight azimuth on that cross. And we're going to hit another button. And the button that we hit is going to be our ground designation. It's our INS position update. We want to make sure that we hit that because if we don't, our bomb's going to just, when we release it, first of all, we're not going to release it because it's not going to give us the cue to release it. But if we did, we're, we're able to release it. It's just going to, it's not going to know when to release right. You're not going to hit your target. So make sure it's very important that you do an INS position update. And I'll show you how what that looks like. So we're going to come out of active pause, keep flying towards the target come out of the uh, autopilot. I have control of the aircraft. And remember we got to egress to the north once we drop this bad boy. But I'm not really worried about that right now. I just want to show you guys how to do this. So I'm waiting for that little cross to appear on my HUD. There it is. We're going to dive down. And once we get it kind of centered where we want it, about right there, come up just a little bit, we're going to INS update. And now we'll get a bigger line on that CCIP mode. We're going to come back up, level out, we're going to just follow the cues on that, where the winglets are on that, that bombing reticle. Now, you'll see like a little hood come over that here in just a minute, 
and once that does that you'll be getting ready to start the bombing so we'll have a, a cue come up from the bottom you'll hold your weapon release and uh, it'll just kind of count down here in just a second and I'm just trying to keep the aircraft straight on where the, there's the hood there's the so I'm holding weapon release on that cue and you'll feel it and hear it drop and bombs away so we'll put the aircraft back on autopilot we'll go out and take a look at that GBU there's that GBU 12 and you can see it's searching for the target there it's coming in and it's like hey there's my laser I see you down there T-55 your ass is mine and destroyed And see, your uh, JTAC will tell you you destroyed the unit and your reattack is authorized. So, what you would do at this point, you would uh, adjust controls. You're going to go down on your, well, I've got it set up to down. Um, it's a system or weapon system CMD aft. That's basically going to put your um, bombing reticle back to, to neutral. Um, so, we did that we would come out of autopilot, we'll egress to the north like he told us to just trying to see if we could see some smoke back there uh, it might be too high up to see it Oop. and I'm falling to the ground here um, eh, kinda, is that it back there? no, that's our, a military base Anyways, but what you would do uh, is remember how we set up everything with the, the, uh, hang on, with the uh, JTAC before. All you're going to do is you're going to go out about 15 nautical miles from your target. You're going to turn back into it. When you do that, IP inbound, and you're going to, you're going to walk through those steps again to drop your other bombs. Um, and and he's going to select a new target to to do that with as well. So I'll actually try to go out here. Uh, I tried to do a DBU um, 16. And for some reason it wasn't working. Uh, it just kept overshooting the target or undershoot it. I don't know if it, the Mirage has issues with that bomb or not. Um, but you know. The G GBU 12s are working. All right, so that's 15 nautical miles. We're going to turn to the left here, bank around. We're still set up on our GBUs. Got one selected, so we don't have to do anything there. We're just going to put our little as flight azimuth in the. Uh, it reminds me of a compass back on. You know, if you're if if you ever did. Uh, ROTC in school or something like that uh, when they're teaching you uh, uh, how to read a, a compass uh, they always tell you to put uh, Red Fred in the shed uh, to get back home but uh, that's kind of what it reminds me of but anyway we're going to put our flight asthmas back in that in that little um, box there to slow down just a fuzz because we're screaming here all right so she's back in the box we're going to go ahead and say IP inbound Pontiac one one IP inbound go ahead and put our Pontiac one one continue CCIP mode back on laser on Pontiac one one, laser on. Laser on. Spot. Pontiac one one, spot. Now we're inbound. Pontiac one one, he'll say cleared hot. Northeast. Pontiac one one, cleared hot. We're gonna go ahead and designate that INS position again. And I got that designated, and you see the tails on the uh, CCIP bombing reticle get longer when that's designated. So we're going to level out, 
and just follow our cue. There's our box so we know our shooting cue's coming. There it is, we're holding weapon release. And bombs away. Oops, wrong one. Alright. So here comes our bomb. It looks like it's uh, on target because you see it tilt down there. It's coming in for the next target and we're going to be short. Why I don't know, sometimes it does this. And why I don't know. Maybe you guys can tell me in the, contact, in the comments. Um, so we're going to say... Alright, so anyway, he's, his commentary is done. Um, but for some reason, I've had problems with the GBU-16. And anytime I try to put a, a weapon back on target again, um, I'm having issues with it. I have gotten one successful second GBU to hit, but I don't know what's going on. If it if there's maybe it's something about the Falklands map, I'm not sure. Um, I should have probably tried a different map like uh, Iraq or something like that, uh, Syria, something that was a little flatter, had flatter areas, but. In theory, this should work, uh, but that shows you how to set things up and how to do that. So we did get a kill on the first one. The second one, why it missed, I don't know. It was it was actually, it could have been me. If you don't get that INS position just correct, uh, it doesn't work right either. So uh, it could have been that. We may not have, we might have set the INS position a little low. Um, so practice with that hopefully it helps you I know I've had at least two people ask me to do those and I've been putting it off and putting it off because uh, it's kind of a pain in the butt to set all this stuff up but you know I want to help you guys I want to show you guys how to do things uh, I did try to get on a server um, I was going to do this live for you guys but um, I could not get the um, the uh, drone to talk to the aircraft correctly um, so I didn't do that and plus I had uh, fighters trying to attack me the whole time I'm trying to drop bombs so I was just like I give up on that I'm gonna give you guys a uh, just a first or first player perspective on that show you how to set it up and uh, go in and do a kill so hopefully that was helpful to you I appreciate you watching leave me some comments and uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please give me a subscription. And uh, we'll catch you on the next video. See you later.